Hello everybody and oh go close the door first so nobody interrupts. Okay, now with the now with the door closed. Welcome back to the aisle, everybody. Um, so basically, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be playing as the Stegosaur, which is in EU One. Wow, what luck! Ninety-nine people, one space left, and I've gotten in. I hope. Yes, I'm in. Okay. So. What the? Oh. Oh dear. I, <laughs> right, so basically, last time I did say that I had lost the recordings for my Stegosaur, so I thought, why not play as a Stegosaur? I've already been playing as this happy little podger for a bit. Now I'm hoping... I will survive longer. Currently what I've survived as this, as this happy little pogga is I've survived being attacked by a raptor and a crocodile, a small crocodile, at the same time. Made friends with a bunch of crocodiles who were over there. And I met another stegosaur just over there. And I logged out. But now the stegosaur that protected me isn't here. And last time, there were raptors here. I don't know how it's going to go today. But. I'm really not sure how it's going to go. Here we go. That's the call of a... Carno. Carnotosaurus. So we're going to go this way. The opposite way to where it was being called from. Oh, but I told that guy, that Stegosaur, I would be on at 4 o'clock. So I guess at the end of the episode, we're going to have to go back. Right. Now, here we are. These planes will be our... Uh, well, this riverside with sort of jungle and planes will be our home until we're fully grown. But we may have to venture further if predators begin closing in and- Ooh! There's food over there. Sorry, it's just happy poggin- happy- happy podger needs to eat. So yeah, because I lost those recordings, I thought, why not play as a stegosaur? He's so cute, though. Stego- Wait, but that's towards the carnivores. Oh no, there they are. Yee! No, I don't know. Uh, this is going to be a series with the Stegosaurus, actually. Until we're fully grown, it's not going to be the most exciting of gameplay. But if we do die, I have a series planned for the... I don't know, Pterosaur? Yeah, that car is beginning to close in. So we're going to fuel up my gut, and then we're going to run that way. What? That's not the sound of a Carnotosaurus. That very low thingy, I don't know. Hello? Because, I mean, there might be another Stegosaur. You never know. Um... Curiosity killed the cat, and it's not going to kill this little stegosaur. I'm running the other way. But... What is it? Sorry, I'm just always paranoid about how full-grown I am, how well-equipped I am for certain dangers. Mind you, full baby stegos aren't completely defenseless. They have this... <laughs> have that thing on the end of their tails. And in the aisle, that's a formidable weapon, a thagomizer. 
Yeesh. Do I go that way, though? Now, I make it interesting for you guys. Or I die. Or I go that way. And it's not interesting. I have a full series planned for this. And when we grow up, it's going to be interesting. But do I make it interesting now? Or do I die? Now. Oh. Safety or the views? Safety or the views? I'll go this way. Come on, Stegosaur. Happy little codger that you are. Yeah. I don't like it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's just a baby Kano. Yeah, you'd be afraid of me. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. How did I How did I miss? Combat. 90 what? That's why you don't mess with a Thagomizer. Baby Carnosaur, gone. Now it's time to go and eat. And my Thagomizer's bloody. Anyway. I guess that was the hype it led up to. Can't say much for my views. But it's not about the views, it's about you guys. Oh no, that dead body sent. What the... I killed him. What are you doing? Are you... There must be a water glitch. Yeah, there's a water glitch. I am your protection. I am a tank. And if anybody ever tries to mess with me... Well... They might be... Where did he go? If anybody tries to mess with me, if a baby tries to mess with me, even a baby Kano, it's going to be in trouble. But I must say, that really startled me. Phew. Yeah, so now I need to eat. No, I know. I don't fully need to eat, but... Ooh, food. Food. I like food. My character likes food. Food is essential for survival. Oh yeah, there we go. Getting closer to the food. And it feels so good. Where's the food though? Oh, there it is. Get back to you after I've eaten. And that did not sound normal. Those are raptors. And they're not babies. They may look small and weak. Oh. Well, goodbye, suckers. The only thing left to do now is run. <laughs> Goodbye, Stego. But that's not gonna be yet yet. 
I don't give up. Stegosaur. Here we go. Well, back to being a little bubba. No protection. No food. Most likely going to die within the first 10 minutes. You know how it is in the aisle. There's a Will Carnotaurus over there. But the food is plentiful over there. There's so much food. Food! Uh, if you want me to play the Utah Raptor, that's tough. We're on a series, and um, series don't really stop until I die. Which I just have. I mean, come on. That was a very short series. They were just like, Welcome to the Stegosaur Dead. So, uh, we're not going to exactly end it right there. Because I feel this little pogger has more of a story to tell than the last unfortunate pogger. Just as I said a story, the sound of a, an adult Stegosaurus comes. Or a Tenosaurus. I can never quite tell the two apart. Yes. Time for the series. Which immediately ends because I can't find the other guy. Okay, we're going to look for food. And... Where is the... Where is the food? Wait, that over there, that sounds like a... Stegolosaur. Oh god, come on. Really? A river? Well, I know there's a river here, but... Uh, you know what's in rivers. Brave the cold and the crocs. I just do this because I'm not a huge fan of, you know, finding out what's up there. Oh. Makes me look like a croc like this, though. That's how I feel. At least I'll see a dim shadow of myself dying. This is going to take forever. I mean, come on. Hello? <coughs> Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't stay near this river, but... Danger first, for the views. No, I'm joking. Yeah, there's a croc. We're going to run now. Running with dinosaurs. You know the whole view joke thing? I'm joking, I just do this because I enjoy it. I mean, I mean, I find it really fun just to see... A, just to see what other thing... Just to see what other people think of these dumb videos I upload to YouTube. Okay then. I don't expect to be like famous. I don't expect to be the best. That spot's already taken by, I don't know, some mega rich YouTuber like Mr. Beast. Or some. I don't know. But anyway. Why is this food taking so long to find? Oh. There's the food! We got it! As you can see, my hunger in the bottom right corner, it was very low, so I'm glad I found this. Little stegosaurs are the cutest. Hey, that's the big herbivore sound again. So it's somewhere close nearby. Now it could either be actually a carnivore, and you already know where this is going. But for the sake of keeping things interesting, let's go to the noise. Because that works every single time, doesn't it? After this, I'm going to be a petrosaur. 
and I will fly through the sky. Hi. Oh, that looks a mess what I just typed. I didn't mean to type that. I don't even know what that is. Well, when I want to make random symbols, I know where to go now. So, we're gonna run towards the noise. Wait! Let's do some reverse psychology here. Where would you expect to find babies? You would expect to find them in the forest. So, more ambush predators will be in the forest. You wouldn't expect a baby stego to be on the plains. So, according to reverse psychology... We're following the noise. I forgot about that. I just thought the noise had gone and the person had left. But we are stegosaurs. We are brave. We are not quick. And we have the brains the size of a peanut. We're not smart. But that's what makes things interesting for everybody. I'm guessing a stegosaur? No. Tricer triceratops? That's the sound of sleeping. And I've heard that particular sleeping noise before. This could be a sleeping Carnotaurus. Not the big roar, but the but the faint of breathing. Just listen. Raptors and everything are all around us. We are Captain Dum Captain Dumb Decisions is here to make YouTube more interesting by not making smart decisions. I think I've ran past the sleepy Carnotaurus, although in this dense brush you probably wouldn't have seen it. You know, if we die, I might play as a... what should I play as? If I die in this episode, which I already have, if I die in the series, out of these three, would you like to see me play? Triceratops, Carnotaurus, which is the big meat eater everybody's afraid of, but I'm rubbish at being somehow, or the flying one, I don't remember its name. That's the sound. Those are the sounds of Utah Raptors. I know Captain Dunn's decisions is here, but we're not going to run into abruptly loud and clear Utah Raptor noises. So if you missed some stuff, then yeah, basically I forgot to set the phone timer before the recording actually started, so that'll be why. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. All you missed was me almost running into Utah Raptors noises. And I think they're chasing me. Because they're not getting quieter. Run. I don't care where, just run. Oh yeah, and let me know. I'm sorry. But there's the sound of the friendly noise. The sound of the friendly noise. Uh, so... Which one should I play? Carnotaurus next. Pterodon, or whatever the flying one is called next. Oh, Petrodon. There we go. That's its name. Or I could play Triceratops. So, Carnotaurus, the big meat eater. Triceratops, which wouldn't actually be a bad choice. Or the frail flying thingy. Petrodon. Wow. I'm out on a semi play. The planes. 
you know, I have a feeling everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. But I've probably jinxed it. Pooh! Well, the planes will be my home for the next so minutes. Hey, come on, run. But every dino got a drink. The sounds of predators are all around. Carnivores, ready to kill on sight. They don't care how much progress you've got. They don't care how much time you've invested. They'll happily feed themselves. That includes crocodiles. Even though they've got fish, Stegosaurus is actually one of the most hated dinosaurs because most players who play as Stegosaurus are mean and toxic. And I mean, if you think I was being mean and toxic when I was being attacked by a Carnosaur, you should see a fully grown Stego. And also, it's survival. I'm not being mean and toxic, it's just if I don't fight back, I'm gonna die. Put it like that. So anyway, time to run into the bush and sniff for my next meal. Let's get further into the bush. Well... Food is over there. Food! Mmm. Ooh, there. Don't worry, I don't think that's a carnivore. Why do the planes feel so safe? I can run for ages. Stegosaur is quick. Oh yeah, but in YouTube, there's that friendly noise again. This is our new mission. Find friendly noise. All right now. Anyway. Hey, is that a dino? Looks like a dino. What? Oh, it's a chicken. Hi, chicken. I'm coming to see you. Hi. Ah. Ah. You're so cute. I don't know what you are, but you're so cute. Too cute. <gasps> are you following me? It follows me. Oh my. Wait, you're not following me? Come on, chicky. Chicky. Chicken. Yeah. Bye, chicken. I'm going to that noise. For better or for worse. Captain Dumb Decisions is here. Whoa. Just playing the aisle. As always. Those aren't friendly sounds. Back there and there. We're just gonna go around the rock. Those footsteps. That's not Carnotaurus. It's an alligator. What? Oh, chicken. Hi.
Uh. Wait. You were the sound. <laughs> Look at you. Your top. What the? Uh. I think it's a trap. And uh. We should go. Come on, little thing. That's the Petrosaur. That's the flying one I'm talking about. But it's only a baby. And that's a crocodile. Which everybody knows. And everybody's scared of. Including me. Um, you might want to run. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. What do you, what is that? Oh my God. Wait. Oh my God. It's huge. For the views! Yeah. Silence. <laughs> Sorry, bud. But that friendly noise is cooling. I hear that friendly noise again, but this time it's over there. Where is it coming from? Hey, what's that? Is that a fish? That's another fish. What? Ooh, that's a big fish. Look at that juicy little nugget. That's it. That's the sound. I don't care if there's a crocodile right over there. So, um, this is the friendly noise, but it's not so good because Carnotaurus are everywhere. Hi. Oh my. We need to go. What is he doing? I'm dead. The series is over. Well, I hope you enjoyed the aisle, and um, that's gonna do it for today. I might play a bit more. I, I probably won't though. Yeah, so... Subscribe, leave a like if you want to. Um, I've died. We all will, though. And, uh, yeah, what's next? Tri Do we have Triceratops? So. We don't have Triceratops. So, I'm thinking... Oh, yeah. No. I meant Triceratops. It's either Tentosaurus next, or... Carnotaurus, or Petrodon. So please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, with that being said, I will see you next time.